Hi, welcome to automation testing that in. In this video, we are going to see Selenium no such element exception. We will discuss about the no such element exception in this video. Selenium no such element exception is the most and frequent facing exception. You will definitely find this kind of exception while automating the application. In this video, we will see what are the reasons to face this kind of exception and how we can overcome this exception. Okay. Uh, while automating any application, we will get some of the exceptions while executing your scripts. The, and uh, in those, no such element exception is a very frequent exception that every will, uh, everyone will face. So below, below are the reasons to get this kind of exception. We have three reasons to uh, get this kind of exception. The locator which you are using to locate the element is incorrect or changed. This is one. And the second is the element which you are looking is not rendered. And third one is trying to find the element before it was rendering. These are the reasons uh, to face this kind of exception. And we will discuss all these things in detail and we'll see how we can overcome this kind of issues. Okay, first we will see locator is incorrect or changed. Here we have two possibilities that the locator which you have written to identify an element may be incorrect. Okay, you have an application, you are trying to find a button. For that you captured the locator that may be wrong. Okay, you captured wrong locator and you have captured the correct locator but due to some changes in the application, the HTML or DOM got manipulated or changed because of that your locator may change now the previous locator may not uh, identify the element in these two situations the locator what you written to uh, highlight the element or locate the element may not locate the element now so then you can find the no such element exception okay to overcome this, we need to take the element locator which is causing this issue and validate against the application that the locator is identifying or highlighting any element on the application. Means once you get the exception uh, in your code, uh, then it definitely says that the uh, no such element exception and this element is uh, what do you say not uh, available on the application and it will show the locator which is causing this exception. You take that locator and go to your application and you validate this locator against your application means for that you can use Firefox uh, add-ons like Firebug and Firepath. You just place your locator in the Firepath and validate against your application means you go to your application if you see this is an application and you are validating against your first name then go to the Firebug and place your what do you say locator here and hit enter whether it is validating or highlighting any element or not then you will come to know that if it is wrong then it will not highlight any element okay then you can correct it from here and you can use the correct one in your code and uh, this is one uh, issue uh, causing this exception and this way you can overcome this exception. Now we will see the second one element not rendered means element is not showing on the application. It is a bit difficult to find this as sometimes uh, not rendering on the application. You need to debug the code and see what could be the real issue. If something, el uh, if something element is not rendering then that is a bug in the application. One sec. If something not rendering, then that is a bug in the application. Means you, you have a button, but that is not rendering on the application. Definitely it is a bug. It is not working as expe expected. So in this kind of situations also, uh, Selenium not able to identify the element. Why? Because the element itself is not there on the application. So 
definitely it will throw that this kind of uh, element is not there no such element exception here if you use first issue resolution that what we saw here we we took that element and we place in the fire bug uh, fire path and we try to validate whether it is there or not but in this situation the locator is not wrong one the locator which you captured is correct and it is exact if the element is rendered but here it is vice versa that the element is not rendering so uh, what you say uh, the locator which you have written is correct but the element is not rendering then you're finding this issue so how you'll overcome this one the first scenario what we faced is different this is different the resolution what we given for the first scenario will not work here okay to overcome this issue we can capture the screenshots for this kind of scenarios and you can find by looking into the screenshots okay sometimes uh, you are not able to find the resolution what you uh, what you did in the first then you go here and take the screenshots and validate against the screenshot that whether the elements are rendering on the application or not okay and here we have one more thing sometimes if you are not navigated to a particular page after clicking on a link or button then it will cause this issue as it will work for the uh, look for the element interact in the new page but actually it is navigated to that page but here actual error show that it is not able to find a particular element but the issue is not with that element as the page not yet navigated to that page okay this kind of situation is bit tricky but we need to find this type of issues but a best example for this uh, okay first we will see what exactly it is you you are here and you want to enter something into this okay but what had happened you you came here you entered something into this box and clicked here then it should navigate it to this page okay that is actual functionality but coming to here if you have given something and if you click here it is now na navigating but there is no validation but in real time scenario if you give something wrong and if you click here it will throw error itself it will not navigate to this page but you are trying to something you are trying to enter something into this text box so then it will say that it is not able to identify this first name text box but the real issue is you have this element the locator is also correct but this is not it navigated to this page so it will throw that error okay then how you identify that element why because the application is stopping here itself okay now in this kind of situations how you'll go overcome this one you just take the screenshots of this scenarios and you see once you navigate uh, once you see the screenshot you will come to know that it is not yet navigated to the next page so you will correct the code in the login page and then you continue your automation okay this is one kind of issue and the third one trying to find the element before it was rendered okay this is different from the second one in the second one the element not yet rendered sorry uh, it will not rendered completely so that is a bug but here it is rendering but it is taking bit more time to render on the application okay sometimes we are trying to interact with the element which is not yet rendered on the application here also we will get the same kind of issue which we saw in the abo but in the abo case the element is not completely rendering but here it is rendering but taking bit more time to load as nowadays uh, lots of modern websites use technology such as jquery angular js and which uses the javascript to manipulate the dom and our cell name is very fast in many cases it's ready to start interacting with your website that is elements before the javascript has finished 
doing its job means it is not completely loading okay it take a bit more time then selenium will try to interact with the element but it is not yet rendered so it will throw this kind of exception then how you overcome this kind of uh, situations here we need to think in such a way that how a manual tester will uh, uh, test this kind of applications if you click somewhere it is taking more time to load how a manual tester will test he will wait until it loads okay same way we have to do in the selenium also for that what we will do we will use synchronization concept means we will stop the execution until the element loads until element renders okay then once the element renders then only we will continue our execution for that we will use we will uh, use one of the classes in the selenium card expected conditions okay we have some provision uh, some of the methods to handle uh, this kind of scenarios we will use uh, those things and we will overcome this kind of situation okay mm. yeah that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like us at our facebook page and don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel